Hey everyone, in this video we'll take a look at aldehyde, ketone, and carboxylic acid as the three new functional groups. Aldehyde and ketone are classified as carbonyl compounds because both functional groups contain a carbon to oxygen double bond. This bond is usually referred to as a carbonyl group. Aldehyde and ketone functional groups are very similar, as you can see, so it is very important for you to learn how to differentiate between them. In an aldehyde molecule, the carbonyl group is at the terminal end of the organic molecule. Therefore, the carbonyl carbon is bonded to a carbon atom and a hydrogen atom. In contrast, the carbonyl carbon in ketone molecule is bonded to two adjacent carbon atoms and no hydrogen atoms. In both functional groups, the carbonyl carbon occupies a trigonal planar shape because it is connected to three other atoms. Not only are they similar, aldehyde and ketone molecules are functional group isomers. Functional group isomers are molecules with the same molecular formula, but different functional groups. For example, propanol and propanone both have the molecular formula of C3H6O. When naming organic compounds, aldehyde and ketone have higher priority than alcohol and simple hydrocarbons. For example, in a molecule containing both an aldehyde and alcohol functional group, the suffix is AL, which is the aldehyde suffix, while the alcohol is denoted by the prefix hydroxyl. Similarly, in a molecule containing both alcohol and a ketone, the suffix becomes own for the ketone, and the alcohol takes on the prefix hydroxyl again. When analyzing boiling point and melting point of aldehyde and ketones, we'll have to examine and analyze the intermolecular forces. Aldehyde and ketones have dispersion and dipole dipole forces due to their polarity. However, they cannot form hydrogen bonds between the molecules as they do not contain hydrogen atoms bonded to either fluorine, oxygen, or nitrogen. Like every other organic compound, we'll see an increase in boiling point and melting point. As the molar mass of the compound increases due to stronger dispersion force. Aldehyde and keto molecules have similar boiling point and melting point due to the similar intermolecular forces they can form between molecules. When we compare aldehyde ketones with hydrocarbons as well as alcohols of similar molecular mass, the following observations are usually made. Aldehyde and ketones have higher boiling points than hydrocarbons, as hydrocarbons are non-polar molecules that are only attracted together by dispersion forces. However, aldehyde and ketones have lower boiling point than alcohols because alcohols can form hydrogen bonds due to the presence of a hydrogen atom bonded to an oxygen atom. Small aldehyde and ketone molecules are polar and therefore soluble in water. This is because these molecules can accept hydrogen bonds from water molecules, as you can see in this diagram. However, aldehyde and ketone molecules become less polar as the molecular mass increases, and this leads to a reduced solubility in water. When comparing molecules of similar molecular mass, aldehyde and ketone molecules are more soluble in water than hydrocarbons. Again, this is because hydrocarbons are mostly nonpolar. They are however less soluble than alcohols, as alcohol molecules can also donate hydrogen bonds, as well as accept them from water molecules. This increases the strength of intermolecular forces between the alcohol molecules and water, and thus making them more soluble compared to aldehydes and ketones. Carboxylic acids are organic weak acids. Structurally speaking, it is a functional group that also contains a carbonyl group that is a carbon to an oxygen double bond. Like aldehydes, the carbonyl carbon is located at the terminal end of the molecule, bonded to another carbon atom, and more importantly, a OH group. The carbonyl carbon also occupies a trigonal planar shape as it is connected to three other atoms. The bond between the oxygen and hydrogen atom in a carboxylic acid functional group is weakened due to the oxygen's high electronegativity. This enables the hydrogen atom to be deprotonated very easily, explaining why carboxylic acids are acidic in nature. When naming carboxylic acids, the suffix 
oic acid is used. For example, in a molecule with three carbon atoms in the longest chain, the name becomes propanoic acid. Carboxylic acids have the highest priority when it comes to naming. This means in any molecule containing a carboxylic acid, it will always take the suffix oic acid. For example, in a molecule with an aldehyde and a carboxylic acid functional group, the carboxylic acid functional group has higher priority, so it takes the suffix oic acid, while the aldehyde takes the prefix, which is formal. So the name becomes 5-formal pentanoic acid. As mentioned earlier, the main chemical property of carboxylic acid is that it is acidic in nature. They are specifically weak acids, so therefore they partially ionize. The ionization of carboxylic acids are reversible reactions that will exist in a dynamic equilibrium. When ionized, carboxylic acids will donate the proton to a water molecule to produce its conjugate base carboxylate ion and hence producing a hydronium ion causing the solution to become acidic. Carboxylic acid molecules can form dispersion forces, dipole-dipole forces, as well as hydrogen bonds due to the presence of a hydrogen atom that's connected to an oxygen atom. Thus, they have a relatively high boiling point and melting point when compared to other types of organic functional groups. Like every other functional group, however, their boiling point and melting point increases with the molecular mass due to stronger dispersion forces. When comparing with other functional groups of similar molecular mass, carboxylic acids have higher boiling point and melting point than simple hydrocarbons, aldehydes, and ketones, as all of these molecules cannot form hydrogen bonds. When we are comparing carboxylic acids with alcohols, they also have higher boiling point and melting point despite the fact that both alcohols and carboxylic acids can form hydrogen bonds, as you can see here. This is because carboxylic acids can form hydrogen bonds more easily by forming this dimer structure, as you can see at the top here. Furthermore, the additional oxygen atom that's found in the carboxylic acid functional group allows for more hydrogen bonds to be formed, thus on average, carboxylic acid molecules can form more hydrogen bonds than alcohol molecules can, therefore resulting in a higher boiling point than alcohol molecules. Carboxylic acids are polar molecules and therefore they are generally soluble in water. They are more soluble in water than alcohols, ketones and aldehydes as they can both donate and accept hydrogen bonds from water. Like every other compound, carboxylic acid solubilities decrease with a molecular mass due to reduced polarity of the molecule. Aldehydes and carboxylic acids can be produced from oxidation of a primary alcohol. Oxidation of a primary alcohol first produces an aldehyde, which is in turn oxidized to produce a carboxylic acid. A weak oxidizing agent, such as PCC, is used to produce an aldehyde from a primary alcohol. A strong oxidizing agent, such as Acidified dichromate ion is used to further oxidize an aldehyde to produce a carboxylic acid. A ketone functional group is produced when we oxidize a secondary alcohol. And this is by using very similar oxidizing agents such as acidified dichromate. Since carboxylic acids are weak organic acids, they can undergo acid and base reactions. So here's a recap of all the important reactions from module 6 acid-base reactions. Carboxylic acid, when reacting with metal hydroxide, produces a salt and water. And this is because the metal hydroxide is classified as a arrhenius base. In this example, ethanoic acid, so carboxylic acid with two carbon atoms, reacts with sodium hydroxide to give you sodium acetate and water. The second reaction is between a carboxylic acid and metal carbonate, and this produces a salt, carbon dioxide, and water. The third reaction is similar to the second one, and that is the reaction between a carboxylic acid and a metal hydrogen carbonate. This produces the same products, salt, carbon dioxide, and water. The only difference between these two chemical reactions is the stoichiometric ratio between them.